In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Pity me, pity me, O you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you hound me? as though you were divine, and insatiably prey upon me. Oh, would that my words were written down, would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead they were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives, and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see, my own eyes, not another's, shall behold him. And from my flesh I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. 
Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Therese of Lisieux did not do any great or heroic deeds. She didn't go anywhere on mission. She was in a cloister. She was hidden away. She didn't even live that long on earth, only 24 years. She didn't produce much in worldly terms. And yet she is venerated as a saint, as well as a doctor of the church. And this is simply because of her eventual expertise in what's called the little way. St. Therese didn't do great deeds, but she did countless small ones, little daily sacrifices that went largely unnoticed by others. She didn't go on mission, but she made a tremendous personal journey toward the Lord and found great happiness in being little before him and dependent upon him. She was hidden away in the littleness of the cloister, but in there, the hidden things of God became known to her. And in many ways, you know, St. Therese was like Job. Both had a life of privilege, both then experienced great littleness in the eyes of the world, both experienced the loss of family, both experienced poverty, both had their friends looking down on them for their, mis- their misfortunes and their littleness. But they both also knew this little way, St. Therese and Job, the way of simple trust in God, simple childlike love of God, and simple dependence upon God's goodwill. God himself was their happiness. And that's a lesson that we can all learn from St. Therese and from Job. Many of us live hidden lives. We're not in the public eye. We're not doing what the world would consider great and heroic deeds. We just go about our daily tasks without too much notice uh, from anyone else. We live hidden lives. But this doesn't mean that we aren't uh, saint material. On the contrary, every quiet prayer said in the home is a saintly thing to do. Every private confession of of love of the Lord and dependence on God is a saintly thing to do. Every ordinary act of life, if done for love of God and others in a spirit of quiet giving, even if it's gone unremarked, is a saintly thing to do. Regardless of who we are, regardless of our state in life, St. Therese and Job and many other unknowns like them give us the encouragement to see ordinary life as a legitimate and wonderful path to holiness. About the time we think, you know, I haven't really done anything, you know, great today, St. Therese might say, well, the day's not over. Why not pray in our Father and really mean it from your heart? That would be a tremendous thing to do, to just be a little child sitting on the lap of our Father, loving him, trusting him, adoring him. That would be a tremendous thing to do even if only God heard you, even if only God heard you, that would be a very great and saintly thing to do. And once again, we offer to the Lord now our prayers. We pray for Catholics throughout the world that they continually seek God with the openness and the littleness of children. Let us pray to the Lord. For our neighbors, that they might see Christ in one another and be glad of heart, let us pray to the Lord. For victims of abuse and for their abusers, that God will make some good come out of human tragedy, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are considering a call to ordained or consecrated life, that they be not afraid to follow the Lord in faith, let us pray to the Lord. 
for the prayers that we offer to the Lord now from the altar of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all those who have fallen asleep and rest in the peace of Christ, especially for Clarence and Ruth Baton, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we come before you with these prayers. We ask you in your kindness and mercy to hear them, to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.